It's recording. Greetings one, greetings all, greetings all, greetings one. Have you ever had an unusual gift? I have. Have a look at this. And it's someone who sent me a rock. AC, thank you very much for this rock. Um, and I'm not going to tell you where it's come from, um, but have you ever had an unusual gift like this? Anyway, what I thought I'd do is, um, hmm, what can I... I'd ask an expert, a rock expert, on what he actually thinks is in this rock. So, it's going to be over to my good friend who's holding the camera, and I'm going to take the camera now, Ian. Ian, will you have a look at this rock for myself and AC and tell me what you think? Yes, I'll have a look at this rock. First glance, it appears to be a metal. The metal is not heavy, so I don't think it's galena, which is lead. I would suggest it's iron sulphide, which is probably iron pyrites or fool's gold. There is some white in there, which I believe is silicon dioxide or quartz, and the red coloration would be iron. Where's it come from? Well, Ian. Would you care to hazard a guess on where that rock has come from? I'll only say overseas. Um, I'll look at it. Oh. <laughs> this rock, I would guess, has come from a mine or from a spoil tip or from an area of quarrying where maybe there was copper or gold, one or the other. Where in the world? Potentially. It could be Wales. It could be India, it could be hmm, South Africa, there's plenty of countries. I don't know. Where did it come from? Well, if I was to tell you that it came from Detroit, Michigan, would you be surprised at that? I'd say it was stolen. You should have had a different line. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Um, you wouldn't have expected it to be Michigan, no? I would not have expected that to have come from Detroit or... I wouldn't have expected it to be indigenous to Detroit. It's um, well, that's fascinating. more indigenous of something I'd find in Wales. OK, you've mentioned the word gold. Gold. I think we could be lucky here. But again, we need the expert for this. Ian, how much is this rock worth? In dollars or pounds? Um, well, I'm going to be excited. How about... Pounds. Pounds sterling? Dollars then. In dollars, zero. But it's it's got fool's gold in it. Yeah, there's a reason it's called fool's gold. It's because it's worth no pounds and no dollars whatsoever. It's not real gold. It's uh, If it is uh, iron parietes or fool's gold, uh, it's just iron and sulphur. No gold at all. Sorry. Well, I'd like to thank Ian for the um, description of the rock. Thank you again, AC, for sending me the rock, which is going to join my collection of rocks, including a rock, uh, I'm making this up, by the way, that I picked up off the top of Vesuvius. I didn't, of course. Uh, those rocks must remain there and should not be smuggled out of the country. Um, so that's my first collection of rock, and it's come all the way overseas from Detroit, Michigan. Thank you once again. And thank you, Ian, for the valuation and also for the description. One thing I would say, um, Ian has mentioned that it, it, you know, it could come out of a mine or a spoil heap. Uh, this rock was actually found, Ian, on the side of the road. Could it have been imported just to, to build roads? It couldn't have been imported to build roads because that is essentially quartz or silicon dioxide, which is not in the hardcore. So it's come from somewhere else. It's been dropped left or it's um, part of a periphery of some kind of rock that was used. But it's not indigenous to the streets of Michigan, is it? And that's it for now. So if you've ever been sent a wonderful present, uh, a present that is quite unusual, uh, I'm thinking here... Um, um, uh, who? WXPM maybe would like to respond to this, or maybe Ian uh, would like to respond to this, or Paul, or William, or have I missed anyone else? Out, uh, Rob Charles, for example, or um, where's Chef? Have I missed anyone, Ian? But you've already included me, and I've already done it. He's done it. He's done it already. So he doesn't. So Ian, if you're listening to this or watching this, you do not have to do it, okay? Because you've been. In, oh, you're here. Um. Over to you guys, and thanks again to... Before you go, 
that bit of rock there that's full of metal is not from Vesuvius. Fascinating. Fascinating. That's it. Bye for now. Bye.